ఓం నమో వెంకటేశాయ శుక్లాంబరధరం విష్ణు శశివర్ణం చతుర్భుజం ప్రసన్నవదనం ధ్యాయ సర్వ విఘ్నోపశాంతయే వ్యాసాయ విష్ణురూపాయ వ్యాసూపాయ విష్ణవే నమో వై బ్రహ్మ నిదే వాసిష్ఠాయ నమో నమ లక్ష్మీనాథ సమారంభాం నాథయ అమున మధ్యమాస్మదాచార్య పర్యంతం వందే గురు పరంపరాం వార్తాయ ప్రతిబోధితం భగవత నారాయణేన స్వయం వ్యాసేనగ్రతితం పురాణ ముని మధ్యే మహాభారతం అద్వైతామృతవర్షిణీ భగవతీ అష్టాదశాధ్యాయినీ అంబత్వామనుసంధామీ భగవద్గీతే భవద్వేషిణీ వసుదేవసుతం దేవం కంసచాణూరమర్ధనం దేవకీ పరమానందం కృష్ణం వందే జగద్గురు నమో వెంకటేశాయ ప్రణామ్ ఎవ్రీబడి సో సంజయ్ ఆఫ్టర్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ఫార్ దుర్యోధన సెట్ ఈస్ now turning to the pandava side so there he is talking about krishna he is the charioteer of this chariot which he has this white colored horses white also signifies the sattva guna so that means all these these people are on the dharma side the pandavas on the dharma side and perhaps krishna used this uh, white colored horses and then he is riding that chariot we saw yesterday chariot corresponds to our body the mind and the intellect as well as the jivatma if you look at in a laukika example you can let's say if you take a car the car the four wheels are the sense organs the, the car is being controlled through the steering the steering can be compared to the mind and the driver who is the person who is the who is driving who is steering this wheel is the intellect and of course person who is sitting at the rear side is the jivatma so in that sense in the, the logic example also we can interpret it like this so this is the chariot so that's what is being mentioned this shloka number 14 so let's move on to shloka number 15 పాంజంజం వృషికేశో దేవదత్తం ధనంజయ పౌండ్రౌద్మ మహాశంకం భీమకర్మావృకోదర పాంజంయం హృషికేశ దేవదత్తం ధనంజయ పౌండ్రం దద్మౌ మహాశంకం భీమకర్మ వృకోదర నౌ ఈస్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ది పాండవాస్ అండ్ ద కృష్ణ హూ బ్లూ ద కాన్షియస్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద కాన్షియస్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో బీయింగ్ గివెన్ హియర్ హృషికేశ భగవాన్ ఇస్ ది ఎర్లియర్ ఫర్ నామ వి సో దట్ మాధవ సో నౌ ఈస్ యూసింగ్ ద వర్డ్ ఋషికేశ ఋషికేశ హృషికం మీన్స్ ది సెన్స్ ఆర్గన్స్ ఋషికానాం ఈశ ఋషికేశ సో దట్ మీన్ హూ ఇస్ ద లార్డ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ది సెన్స్ ఆర్గన్స్ దట్ మీన్స్ హూ ఇస్ ఏబుల్ టు కంట్రోల్ ది సెన్స్ ఆర్గన్స్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ అస్ ఋషికేశ సో హియర్ అగైన్ సిన్స్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు డైరెక్ట్ ది పాండవాస్ అండ్ దర్ ఫర్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు కంట్రోల్ ద పాండవాస్ అండ్ దెన్ మేక్ షూర్ దట్ దే విన్ దిస్ బ్యాటిల్ అండ్ దర్ ఫర్ ఈస్ ద కంట్రోలర్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఎంటైర్ పాండవ క్లాన్ అండ్ దర్ ఫర్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ అస్ హృషికేశ you know the choice of words is also absolutely very important vyasa has beautifully used these words the panja janyam panja janyam means the krishna's conch is called as panja janyam why is it called panja janyam there was an asura called panja jana so he was residing in the sea one of the conches which grew in the sea got into his body and started growing along with his body the conch was also growing growing inside the body of this the asura called as panja jana so when krishna completed his gurukula in sandipani ashram on 64 days so he asked his guru i want to give the guru dakshina please tell me what is that you want so then uh, the sandipani's wife knew that krishna was a great paramatma and therefore they lost their son about 10 uh, 12 years ago when he was going into the sea while taking bath in the sea and therefore she says can you bring my son back to me so krishna said why not so he goes there then he first goes to the seashore because the boy went into the seashore and got lost there so he goes into the sea and then he finds this panjajani dasura he starts fighting with him and then finally kills him and takes this you know this shanka from his body panjachan that's why it is called panjachan so he started blowing this conch panjachan it is also one of the five ayudas of bhagwan so panchayatam uh, is on shanka chakra gada kadgam sharangam these are the five vishnu's panchayatam panchayat stotra is a famous shloka panchayat stotra which is normally chanted after vishnu sahasrama so why is the conch called as uh, is an ayuda because it is called as an ayuda because when bhagwan blows this conch but 50% of the confidence self confidence of all these enemies will be completely shattered and that's why it is called as one of the ayudas bhagavan sahidas panja janam in fact we are going to see in the later shloka how when the, all this uh, the sankas were being blown immediately you know this kauravas were completely shattered so panja janam rishikesha dadma dadma she blew his conch so krishna blew his panja janam conch dananjaya devadattam dadma so dananjaya is uh, arjuna Why is he called Dhananjaya? In fact, Krishna, in fact, Vishnu says also, you'll find one of the names, Bhagavan's name is Dhananjaya. Dhananjaya means one has got gained victory over wealth. Dhanam means wealth. One has got gained victory over wealth is called as Dhananjaya. 
in this case uh, arjuna is called as dhananjaya because when yudhishthira wanted to perform various sacrifices the treasures and the money required for the, the wealth required for performing these various uh, yagnas were the, the task was allotted to arjuna and arjuna goes around if you read mahabharata you will find that he goes to different places and gets the the wealth required for performance of the various yagas yagnas and therefore he is called as dhananjaya arjuna is called as dhananjaya so dhananjaya is uh, is conscious called as devadatta devanam the devaya dattam that is who was what was given by devatas and therefore he is called as devadattam so the his conscious name is devadattam he blew his conscious devadattam vrukodaraha bhima karma poundram dadnu so next comes bhima bhima is called as vrukodaraha vruka udaraha vruka means very big udaraha no belly he has got a very big belly and therefore he was a very good he is a great glutton he used to eat a lot and therefore he is called as vrukodaraha bhima karma that means he is you can do terrific things bhima means very fearful or terrific so he can do lot of terrific things because of his you know bujabala parakula so so mighty person so that he could do lot of great things the face called as bhima karma the bhima's blew his conch called as poundram the his conch is called as poundram that no so he blew his conch poundram first of all from the pandava said krishna blew the this panchajanyam followed by arjuna who did this devadattam then bhima blew his poundram so let's see the who are the other people who are blowing the conches the other side on the other pandavas next shloka ananta vijayam raja कुंतीपुत्रो युधिष्ठि नकुल सह देव सुगोषमणिपुष्पक सो दि अदर पांडवास वाट आर वाट आर दि कॉन्शियस नेम्स एंड वाट द ब्लू अनंत विजय राजा कुंतीपुत्रो युधिष्ठ सो द कुंतीपुत्र दट मीन स्टील नॉट बिकम राजा बट देन इन हाइन सैट अफकोर्स इन फोर सैट इज एबल टू प्रिडिक्ट दट इज गोइंग टू बिकम द किंग एंड दफ इज कुंतीपुत्र द कुंती सन युधिष्ठि द एलडर सन कुंती एलडर सन इज युधिष्ठि Dharmaputra, so your Raja, he is going to become the king. Ananta Vijayam, so that means he blew this. His conch is called as Ananta Vijayam. Ananta means endless. Vijayam is victory, endless victory. Conch is called as Ananta Vijayam, endless victory. And therefore, he blew his conch, Ananta Vijaya. Then the other two people, Madri and Nakula and Sahadeva, they had the two conches names, Sugosham, Pani Pushpakau. So the Nakula's uh, conch was called as Sugosham, and Sahadeva's uh, conch was called as Mani Pushpakam. so they blew each of them so all the five pandavas blew their conches along with shri krishna paramatma so this is what is being talked of let's move on to the next shloka kaschascha parameshvasah shikandi cha maharatah drushtad dyumno viratascha satyakischa parajitah kasyah cha parameshvasah shikandi cha maharatah drushtad dyumnah viratah cha satyakicha aparajitah So everybody starts on the Pandava set. Kasi Ascha. So Kasi Raja. We already saw that when Duryodhana is referring to the Kasi Raja, also one of the Maharatas. And therefore, he is Kasi Raja. He is also started blowing his conch. Maha Ishvas. That means he was holding a very great bow on his hand. So that means he has got this Maha Ishvas. Huh? So he was holding that. Shikandi. Shikandi is another son of Drupada. And therefore, he is also on the battlefield and he is the person who is going to ultimately kill this uh, Bhishma Pitama. And therefore, Shikandi. the mahar they are all great maharatas who are able to command 11000 soldiers so these are the great maharatas drishti dhimna drishti dhimna is the commander in chief on the pandava side he is the son of drupada brother of uh, draupadi the drishti dhimna virata the king of virata is also there satyaki is satyaki is also another cousin of uh, shri krishna paramatma before the battle started yudhishthira made an announcement saying that even now it is not too late people who are on the others on the side of duryodhana want to join my side they can join similarly people from my side if anybody wants to join the uh, duryodhana said they can leave and then go to that place so we made an announcement at that time this yutsu one of the brothers of uh, the duryodhana came from the kaurava side to the pandava side that's one person similarly this uh, satyaki satyaki is the, because when krishna made an announcement that he will be on the side of pandavas but all his army and other people on the side of kauravas so satyaki is one of the people on the army and therefore he was on the side of kauravas finally he decided to come back to krishna side and therefore he came on to come to the, the krishna side and that satyaki he was also a great maharatha aparajitah jitah means one can be won over parajita one can be won over by others is called parajitah aparajita one who cannot be won over in fact aparajita name we find in vishnu sahasram also aparajitah so that means one who cannot be conquered in fact if you go to in chennai if there is a temple called trivallikani the parthasarathi temple right next to the on the left hand side of this um, parthasarathi venkata krishna the molar perumal you can find this satyaki satyaki is also on his side holding a, you know this uh, sword in his hand so that is the satyaki 
So Satyaki, everybody started blowing their conscious. So Kashi Raja was holding the great bow on his hand. Shikandi, then uh, was a great Maharata. Drishti Dimna, the uh, commander in chief of the Pandavas. Virataha, he was also on the side of Pandavas. And of course, his, his daughter who is married to this Abhimanyu. Virata Raja's daughter uh, is the person who got married to this Abhimanyu, Virataha. Satyaki, Satyaki, the cousin of uh, Sri Krishna Paramatma, all of them, they all started blowing their conscious. Okay, next look up. Drupada Draupade Yascha Sarvasha Prativipate Saubadrascha Mahabahu Shankandat Pupratak Pratak. So Drupadaha Draupade Yahacha Sarvasha Prativipate Saubadrascha Mahabahu Shankandatmu Pratak Prataku. Prativipate, that means he's addressing this uh, Dhritarashtra. Sanjay is saying, Oh, think of the oh, Prativipate, oh, the Lord of this earth, Prativipate. Dripadaha, Dripada was also on their side, that is Dripada, the Draupadi's father. Draupadi Yascha, so Draupadi's five sons, they were also there. Draupadi Yascha, the five sons of Draupadi. Sarvasaha, all the five of them. Subhadrecha, Subhadre, Subhadra's son, that is the Abhimanyu. This is the Arjuna's another wife of Subhadra, the cousin sister of Krishna Paramatma, and her son is Abhimanyu, he is called Subhadres. The son of Subhadra is called Subhadreya. Huh? Mahabahu, he's got a very broad shoulder, very big shoulders fighting skills. Shankan Dagmu, that means shank, all of these people started blowing their conscious, Pratak Pratak, each one their respective conscious. So that means each one started blowing their conscious, respective conscious. So everybody started blowing from the Pandava side also, starting from Sri Krishna Paramatma. Let's move on to this next look also and then complete with that because that completes you know, one uh, thought. Sagosho Dardha Rashtranam Hridayani Vedarayate Nabascha Prativim Chaiva Tumulobhyamnunadayan Saha Goshaha Dhartra Rashtanam Hridayani Vyadharayate Nabascha Prativimcha Yeva Tumulob Abhyanunadayan. So that means Saha, that means that vibration, Gosha, that means the vibration that was produced by the blowing of conscious of all these people. Dhartra Rashtanam Hridayani Nyadharayate. Dhartra Rashtanam Dhritarashtra sons. So the 99 cents, because except the youths who came on the side of Pandavas, the 99 cents of Dhritarashtra are called Dhritarashtra. All these Hridayani, all the hearts were Nyadhare, that means completely rattled. As I mentioned earlier, when Krishna blows his conch, immediately the 50% of the self-confidence of the, the opponent's side will be lost. Similarly, when all these people started blowing their conches, the entire 99 cents of this Dhritarashtra who were on the side of Kauravas, the hearts were completely rattled by the kind of sound that was produced by that. Nabascha Prativim Chaiva, that means Nabaha means the sky, Prativim means the earth. The, the kind of vibrations that produced the entire earth was become uproarious and then it, it was resounding. Abhinadunayan means that means it got, it got echoed and then got, started coming back again and again. The sound was so vibrating and completely you know rattled the, the hearts of this, the Dhridharashtas, all this 99 cents of Dhridharashtra. So this is where uh, the, the Shankanadam completes. Then let's see from for our to tomorrow what uh, Arjuna started talking to Krishna Paramatma. Om Namo Venkatesaya. Vasude Vasutam Devam Kamsa Chanu Ramadhanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagadgurum Sarum Sri Krishna Namastu Krishna 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 Krishna.